Okay, so we have the footage in After Effects, but the green screen isn't great. Kind of dull with a lot of creases. If we search key light in effects and drag it onto the footage, select anywhere on the green screen with the eyedropper, then go to screen mat. The white is what is left, the black is what has been removed. So as you can see, there's a lot left over that needs to be removed. To do this, open the screen mat section and adjust the clip black and clip white until you reach a sweet spot with a nice clean image. This part is proving troublesome as it's too dark, but we'll fix it later in Premiere Pro. We can also get rid of any black and white spots using the despot sliders. Now it's looking pretty good on black, but I also like to add a bright green and a white solid color just to see how it looks against these extremes. There's some light green showing up around the hair. This can be reduced using the screen shrink slider, although don't bring it back too much or it will remove too much of the edges. Here's how it looks with a random JPEG background. Now make sure it has an identifiable name and save. Open up Premiere Pro and import that After Effects file. Now, whatever changes you make in After Effects will automatically happen in Premiere Pro as the two are linked. I'm going to do the same in Premiere Pro, create a green and white backdrop to see how it looks.
This area doesn't really move, so it's easy to fix by drawing an opacity mask around it and selecting Invert. Here it is with the same random backdrop. Scrub through the footage and make some more adjustments here and there where needed. You might want to adjust Lumetri colour settings to get it to match with the background. Another good method is to have an adjustment layer at the top with an effect. For example, Magic Bullet Film which kind of brings the green screen footage and background together nicely. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. And thanks for watching.